Yeah. Yeah, pop Whoa. it open. Yeah. Ooh. Oof. Tuesday night. Tuesday night, a Tuesday night tradition. Uh, Jack, I have a question for you real quick. Do you yes, remember sir. the 21st of September? I do. I do yeah. remember the 21st of September. Love was changing our mind of the pretenders while chasing those suds away. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. I don't want to get oh, dinged yeah. on YouTube for uh, singing uh, singing that badly. <laughs> hey, Michael here from Beer Baseball Blog, the adventures of craft beer and baseball. This is the Beer Baseball Blogcast episode 73 for September 21st, 2021. Wherever you are watching us live today, please give us a like and a comment. Let us know that you're out there. And as always, we'd appreciate if you subscribe, turn on those notifications, tell your friends. We're going to do some craft beer and baseball tonight. Some housekeeping before we start. Um, uh, hide out, Jack, uh, while I say this. I want to give you a proper introduction. Yes. Thank you to Patreon super supporter Cowboy Jack Durango for his contribution to the beer baseball blog on the power hitter level. Thank you, Cowboy. Thank you to Thank Patreon you. supporter Rachel Elnar for her contribution to the beer baseball blog, also on the power hitter level. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you to Patreon supporter Scott Loss for his contribution on the cleanup hitter level. Check out his comics and merchandise at accidentalaliens.com. Thank you to Patreon super supporter If Sports Cards for their contribution on the leadoff hitter level. You can check out their YouTube channel of sports card breaks, pack openings, and mail days at If Sports Cards on YouTube. If you would like to become a supporter of the Beer Baseball blog, simply go to our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash beer baseball. And you can also support us by buying stickers, buttons, beer coasters on our Etsy page. Search Beer Baseball on Etsy. Unfortunately, today, uh, Angelo Trinidad is on assignment and Kevin Lyon, his new gimmick, is running late. Uh, but he will be here as soon as he can. But Pinch Hitting is the Goodwill Ambassador and the Sultan of Swig at the Beer Baseball blog, Cowboy Jack Durango. Let's hear it for the Cowboy. Yes. The Sultan of Swig, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's an extended swig, but but woo. but uh <laughs> Is it more of a swill? It it might be a swill. I I, I didn't want to a swill sounds bad. Uh I think well, the Sultan of Swig works perfectly for you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it will be added to my Twitter bio tonight. Oh, love it. Love it. Hey, and, and uh, who knows? Uh, some uh, some business cards so you can go do uh, beer baseball blog business uh, yes. with all the Arizona breweries out there. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Real quick, though, I wanted to check in on that. I talked to my, uh, my esteemed attorney, accountant, and spiritual advisor, Eddie Borjas. Yes. Steamed Eddie Borjas. Yes. He hasn't received the contract or the check for my appearances on the show. Is it? Um. Well, you know, a, a, like we say in, in, in the wrestling biz, uh, I'll get you next time. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I always know I can believe that. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, we, we got we got plenty. Wow, we have so much stuff planned for you. You don't even know. So we're all good. You, you, we'll see each other much more before the year's end. Big plans, brother. Big plans. <laughs> that, that bought me some time. All right. <laughs> All right. As we do every single week, we ask each other a very important question. What are you drinking? And uh, I know that that um, this is a little bit, uh, I, and we haven't briefed you on this, but every week, uh, Jack, we drink something different. And so we want you to bring something um, unique and different to our viewers, um, but also, um, you know, something for yourself. And you actually went to a brewery earlier today and you got something. Let me uh, let me put this up. What, yeah, it, what, yeah. what do you got so, here? Richter Ale Works. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm getting over. I'm getting older, you know, and I'm trying to take better care of myself. So more fruits and vegetables. So I went with seltzers because they're healthy. <clears throat> <laughs> I uh, I got two. I uh, first one is a summer or a cherry limeade seltzer, which is a ABV of four point seven, and no IBU, and it comes in a handy dandy thirty two ounce can. Wow! 
Oof. Oh, it's so like, it's what is a uh, blackberry sugar seltzer. Okay. Same AB, same same uh, ABV, four point seven. Got it. Got it. So uh, so, how is it tasting? Like, is it uh, is it harsh or is it like is it kind of crisp? It's a it's a mellow crisp limeade, not overpowering, not Got overpowering it. at all. It's uh, sessionable. Okay, so this is from uh, Richter Ale Works in Peoria, Arizona. Um, I, as I did a little research on it, it's a uh, a brewery that's own, uh, family owned, uh, family operated in uh, in the community they were born and raised. So the, they they've been there for quite a while. Actually, it's not far from where I was uh, born in Arizona and grew up in my yeah, early years. They're, they're right. They're right up the street from me and. Uh, I just recently discovered them the last time I was on the show and uh, they live over close or they, their shop is over close to my son. So I'm, uh, I'm after tasting the seltzer, I'm, uh, I'm going to be a regular. <laughs> right on. Yeah. I, I, some of the beers I, I saw were, were actually looking really good. So I definitely wanted to check them out. Next time I'm in Arizona, I will definitely uh, make it out to Richter Ale Works. So shout out um, to Richter. Yeah. My treat. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Uh, my beer tonight is uh, from one that you used to uh, vilify. I used to uh, come down on, uh, on Kevin Lyon for uh, radio, but now now you're a believer. You finally, I'm a believer. you are a believer. Um, uh, this is the extremely well worst a Marzen from. It is an Oktoberfest Lager, six percent ABV. Uh, comes in cans and draft, and it's the uh, tr traditional style uh, with. Um, Notes of pumpernickel bread and carefully balanced uh, noble hop spice and bitterness. Now, the reason why I, I am bringing this one is because Kevin Lyon, who says he is not uh, a big, uh, this is this is that kind of out of his range. Um, he does he didn't really uh, we wouldn't go to this normally, and and the same with me. He's raving about this one, so mm -hmm. I am very, um, yeah. It's it's got that like. Um, uh, like pumpkin-y uh, type of, you know, like uh, like Thanksgiving dinner. Like, you know, this huh. this would pair pair nicely with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can understand why he liked this. It's very, very, like, um, very easy drinking. Usually sometimes sometimes the Oktoberfest beers are, are maybe a little bit more um, more bitter, but this one is really super smooth. Yeah perfect amount of bitterness so I, I understand why he likes this a lot and I, I love that um if I can solo in on the can there's like there's like hot dogs on it I don't know if you can see right. that yeah no I was, I was curious how I was curious how uh how it would go with a bratwurst yeah oh god that that's that would be amazing right now so yeah definitely check this out one of our favorite breweries out of Orange County is uh Radiant definitely check them out if you actually go to Radiant uh, brewing, uh, you might find uh, this guy sitting on a stool, <laughs> um, and um, yeah, he gets uh, he gets a lot of preferential treatment at at uh, Radiant for his uh, his patronage every week. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I got I got I got to buy a, getting a stock plan. You know what I mean? Yes, he's the, yeah. he's the norm. <laughs> he is definitely the norm. Uh, of, of radiant for sure and, and uh, to put over to put over my the, my local brewery um so they actually a big event that happens in the beer industry is called the great american beer festival and they actually won the the gold medal for brewery of the year for small batch breweries like under 250 barrels and they've been around nine months and to win a medal like that it's just like yeah that's pretty impressive very <laughs> impressive wow. Yeah, for sure. And they won a gold medal for one of their hazies, uh, uh, hazy pale ales as well. Wow. And and I love uh, the boot here. I remember when Unsung Brewing they had one for the World Cup. It was it was a like a oh, soccer sorry. cleat. And uh, so I've always wanted one of these. Um, so if you ever see one, Kevin, I, I, definitely... I, I have an Angels. I don't know. I think they still have those. I have an Angels one that I got when they were doing like Oktoberfest for the Angels. But the problem is, it's really it's pretty difficult to clean the boot. Oh, is that right? I mean, I don't have a dishwasher, so that's the hard part. You know, trying to get the tip of that boot. You know, if you you can't really reach that with like a dish brush. You know, what uh, I mean? that's that's true. <laughs> that's true. You gotta like, uh, wash it or something. I don't know. Yeah, 
definitely. So, uh, Kevin, uh, we I'll actually double grease for getting there. <laughs> we actually made an excursion on Sunday, and uh, the beer that you're bringing uh, tonight is uh, from hey. one of our new favorites. Um, you know, we're, we have a, a long list of favorites, but this is a new favorite from Paperback Brewing. Yeah, we haven't tried this yet. So um, I know I had this on the show before. I believe you have as well, Michael, because the regular version is called Bunny with the Chainsaw. And that was actually available at Trader Joe's. And I think Angel said he, he found it there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the variant they made, they tied it with a certain team in Los Angeles, you know, not the Angels, <laughs> that other team. Uh, they made a tropical berry version of this. And this is a double hazy IPA, by the way. Double dry hop, 8.2%. So, Ooh, daddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to love the slogan That's night, night juice. That's right. <laughs> his home run swing will cut you to pieces. Oh, I love, love it. Because I don't think you can see in the picture, but he, his bat is the chainsaw. And there's a little ball right there. Yep. You're ready to knock one out. So now uh, what team is this go... associated with? There's a, there's a little team uh, in... Uh... Uh, yeah, just the major league team, you know, the Dodgers? Yeah. The major league team in L.A. Just north of downtown L.A. They they play in a, a stadium named after Chavez. their – Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call Los Doyers. Huh. <laughs> yeah. so you you know what? That's what I love about Arnie. this show. I am always learning. Yeah, you're That's learning. Right. You're learning. <laughs> well, shoot, let me have this then. We'll see how yeah, give it a go while I um... – Oh, yeah. I mean, you get a glass to put this in. This is good. This is nice. Yeah, that that's definitely one that you should. Better. I think this is even better than the original with a little bit of berry in there. It's a really nice touch. Yeah. The um. So so we went out to uh the, where Radian is out of. It's out of, actually out of Glendale, Arizona. Or Arizona. I, I know not, where the where the Arizona Cardinals play, right? Uh, uh Glendale, uh, California. And uh, so it's it's probably like, um, what would you what would you say? It's like by the. What do you think it's over by? Oh gosh, I, I, it, because I didn't drive up there. I don't really know what freeway be off. Oh yeah, Maybe you took the train there. Yeah, I took the train up there. Yeah, because I plan on drinking and being responsible. Yeah, for, it's like for a change. Yeah, <laughs> I'm um, kidding. it's I'm kidding. <laughs> like it's just it's probably just south of like where the I always say like L.A. Zoo. So it's it's probably just south of there. Um, not too far, yeah, but, but a little but, bit east. Yeah. Western. Yeah, and then um, so we went. We went over there, and we were kind of. A, we didn't know to, what to expect. I mean, we think that you know all their artwork is like super amazing, and, and their beers are great. And then we went in there, and it was like almost like a like a little hangar. It was like uh, it, it was it was kind of arched and stuff like that. And it was actually really super nice in there. And uh, uh, the the paperback brewing part of it is it's kind of uh, based on like like uh, pulp. Uh, Kind of pulp fiction like novels mm -hmm. and stuff like that like a library in fact our taster came in like what a, a library card or what library cards would be in and uh, where you can look up to all the books and stuff like that I thought that was super clever so yeah definitely if you're in that area in la uh definitely one to check out uh paperback brewing in california uh, uh glendale california and it's definitely worth checking out we, we had some other ones in Burbank that we wanted to check out um, but this one we we had to just just from all the times we had the beers we, we definitely uh, wanted to, to make it out there yeah it worked out it worked out great at least for me because it was like you know two easy train rides and like a 10 minute walk and I was there I was like all right you know yeah good day. definitely so let's uh I wanted to give a shout out to the uh, people in the chat um Ian yeah, it's sports cars thank you uh for joining us tonight Chad M what up, Chad? Bubble Pug, Bubble Pug, thank you so much. MVP. Yeah, we. Um, uh, who else? Oh, my, uh, my brother Adam. Hello, hello. I, I, <laughs> hello, hello. hello, hello. The expert Matt Sinister uh, <laughs> in the chat. Hey. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Steve I, Dalton I Jr. Wow. Yeah. Steve Whistler Dalton Jr. Uh, wow. <laughs> in we, got, the chat. we got the all-star crew tonight here in the chat. We do have an all-star yeah. crew. And he's 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 not only on Facebook, he's also on YouTube. So oh, getting those, the views, brother. Hey, getting those view counts up, please. Hey, maybe that's Steve Senior. That oh, that could Steve be that, that could be yeah, definitely. Um <laughs> whatever whatever gets our, our counts up, we'll take go. it. Everybody at home that's watching right now, log in on multiple devices, please. Yes, yes, we, we definitely need it. All right, so let's get to it. Let's do this day in baseball history. 
for September 21st. Um, like I said, Jack, uh, wait, and, and let me, for our viewers out there, Cowboy Jack Durango is, um, uh, I would say, uh, an apprentice on the Beer Baseball uh, blogcast. We're, we're teaching him the nuances of baseball, the history of baseball, and really, we're trying to get a lot of the stuff that's in our heads out of our heads, right, Kevin? I mean, we we have so much stuff in here. We 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 like to uh, uh, deflect our knowledge, but um, but actually, uh, Cowboy Jack Durango did some research on today already. Can you do you want to tell us what you know about September twenty first? So September 1st, it was 1896. A gentleman by the name of Connie Mack. We've, I've heard his name before. I can't picture him. I didn't even, I as soon as I heard Connie Mack, I recognized the name. I never associated that name with baseball. I thought he was some obscure celebrity. Connie Mack announces that he will leave the Pirates to manage the, at the time, minor league Milwaukee Brewers. Get your beers ready. <laughs> there you go. And they were in the Western League. The light hitting catcher retires as a full time player to accept the deal, which includes 25% of the club, a precursor to his 55 year reign as the owner of the American League Philadelphia Athletics. Wow. I so forgot he was over them too. Yep. When you said in 1890, whatever year it was, a gentleman named, and I was about to say Kevin Lyon, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, is this a rib on me? No, yes. never. No, Connie, Connie was a good man. Connie was definitely a good man. He had a bunch of championships. Yeah. Oh. yeah. There you go. So so you, you, we're, we're, we're learning you here. We're You're good, learning we're good. me. Hey, yes. I'm learning from him too. Yes. I'm your I'm your baseball Padawan, my Jedi. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's start off with September 21st, 1963, in the Polo Grounds final game played in front of a paltry 1,752 patrons. Jim Hickman of the Mets hits the last home run in the 52-year history of the Coogan's Bluff ballpark. The iconic stadium, which served as home for the Giants from 1911 to 1957, the Yankees from 1913 to 1922, and the Mets from 1962 to 63, first opens it, opened its doors on June 28, 1911. I completely forgot the Mets played here until Shea Stadium was ready. Yes. I, I was like, oh, it's interesting. Yeah, and uh, so... Now, this picture doesn't do it justice, but this is the configuration of the polo oh, grounds. So it's 279 um, to left. Uh, I think it says two, what, 256 to right. But then, Jeez, you know, that's like that's like little leaguers can do that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. You get like but, Pony League level 13 year olds. They're going to clobber them like that. My gosh. And uh, but it's kind of reminiscent of Fenway Park, the way that the pesky pole there on the right field line is, is but um, the way that it, it jets back like that. But yeah, this is uh, these stadiums, and, and and you see, there's not a lot of um, a kind of area for uh, for uh, for spectators and stuff like that. So it's kind of like you know, obviously, you know, it, these things evolved over time. Uh, but um, this is a very interesting. I always love the configuration of these ballparks, and I was always hoping that that a ballpark would do something like this one day. But I don't think it'll be possible. I I, I feel like I'm looking at like a baseball pinball game. Yes, yes, that's exactly the way, the the way it looks. Are. I don't know. Yeah, there's totally. Like around this kind of like the that, just the, the shape of that. That's just weird. Yeah, so and boring. I would I would imagine that they you know they played polo there. There was actually yeah. a polo ground, but um, yeah. you know you don't hear much about that. You always right. uh, have it more uh, associated with baseball. September twenty first, nineteen sixty eight. Now, I'm going to preface this. This actually is not the right date for what I'm going to tell you. I found out later in my research, that's why I do the research, hashtag do the research, um, that it says September 21st, but this was actually September 18th. Okay, so September 21st, yet 18th, after being no hit the day before by, by Giants right-hander Gaylord Perry, 
The Cardinal hurler Ray Washburn returns the favor by no hitting San Francisco two to nothing, making the hitless contest wow. on successive days a first in the major league history. So I, I didn't want to let this one go. This was this was a really that, good that's one. That's a great one. That people well, need it's to know. Too bad, Michael, because you know it's happened three times this year. <laughs> yeah, right. But not on consecutive I, days. I know. I know. I just feel like that's happened three times. That's what I mean. There's oh right, like, right, exactly. Yeah, hey, yeah there's been my, like my, my, my bad modern baseball joke all right there's been like there's been like nine of them this year i mean that's, it's it's not very rare anymore uh um, if i can just jump in kevin i just to speak for everybody in the chat we never care about your bad baseball jokes thank you. we're used to <laughs> it enough. thank you i just try to pop michael that's all i really yes care about. exactly yeah. the 30 year old right hander is the fourth cardinal pitcher to throw a uh no hitter in franchise history uh, and the first since Leon Warenke's gem in 1941. So I definitely wanted to get that one in there, um, but it was actually on the 18th. And you can actually see um, the oh. autograph here. It says, uh, yeah. no hitter, 91868. So that's how I, I was like, wait, this is this on the 21st? And it actually isn't. That's funny. He, he pretty much wrote his career bio right there. Too. He did. Like, right. He did. That's actually not bad. I wonder bad. if he did this on every single autograph. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Like that way, you know who I am, you know, September 21st, 1975 Met slugger, Dave Kingman oh, in a seven right, to five right, victory right, over Dave Chicago Kingman. at Shea stadium hits his 35th Homer to set a new oh. franchise record, uh, for home runs in a season. Frank Thomas set the previous mark in 1962 in the team's first year of existence. Cowboy, what is Frank Thomas's nickname? You're on mute. <laughs> the big hurt. Yeah. All right. Well, you would be right, but the uh, Frank Thomas we're talking about actually, I don't think had a nickname. Um, I don't remember. We're oh, talking no, about the guy no, on the no. left. Yeah. But you're Frank, right. That's, that's freight train Frank Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy on the right is definitely the big hurt, but uh, Jeez, but this is another dude. Frank Thomas. So this is a this is a like Christmas hands <laughs> yeah, gosh. shoulders yes so Martin this is Easter. this is a learning what? moment for you that there was actually two Frank Thomases um yes and both just you you know those both of them boys were in the weight room I mean <laughs> you can tell you can tell I, I love all our autographs of like their career bio underneath it 1962 yes. original net that's right like, all right wow. so he was all a right. journeyman utility infielder um, who played for the Pirates, Reds, Cubs, Mets, Braves, Phillies, Astros, uh, Braves again, Cubs again. But yeah, he played from 51 to 66. Um, so uh, the very same day, let's see. Uh, yeah, very same day, very same game. Uh, September 21st, 1975, Rusty Stobbs becomes the first player in franchise uh, history. To drive in 100 runs, the fifth inning two-run blast off Donnie Moore. Oh, another, uh, yeah. This is going to hurt Kevin's wow, I feelings. I Donnie Moore was around in 75. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Fifth uh, two-run home run off Donnie Moore accounts for Le Grand Orange, his 100th thank you. RBI. Thank you, because you, I'm glad you said that, because I was going to say it if you didn't, so thank you. Yes, contributed to the team's 75 comeback over the Cubs at Shea Stadium. Yeah, so that's uh, that's awesome. Rusty Staub is a is an awesome player and uh, w uh, one of the great redheads in the game. He actually, was super popular in Montreal. He was super. I mean, that's why um, that's probably why he got his nickname, uh, the French nickname, Le Grand Larange. <laughs> <laughs> the way he said not a lot, of, not a lot of gingers in baseball. No, no. no. Actually, I mean, there's more than you would. There's more than you would think. There's more than you would think. I mean, uh, yeah, the what I can name off top of my head is the Charlie Hustle. Was uh, was was it was he wasn't red hair? Was he? Was I guess oh. he? Not like this. Not like like not orange. No, I, not no. like Ju uh, Justin Turner. That would be another oh, one. Oh, Doctor Zayas. Doctor Zayas. Yeah. <laughs> September twenty first, nineteen seventy six. Indians player manager Frank Robinson in his final major league at bat 
hits a pinch hit single in a four to three loss to Baltimore at Cleveland Stadium. The 41 year old future Hall of Famer ends his 21 year playing career with a batting average of 294 and 586 home runs, the fourth best in baseball history at the time of his retirement. Um, yeah, so that you don't see this enough. Like, I, I, I want to bring this back. I want to bring back the player manager. I love, I, I think it's so awesome. Well, unfortunately, Pete Rose killed that. Yeah, but I can, so I'm trying to think of, we were, I, we were talking about this before who could do it. Like, I think like Yadier Molina could probably do it. That'd be fun. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you have to find one of those grizzled old vets, man. Who yeah. Actually know the game. I mean, yeah. I don't I mean, you need a guy who has actually still playing like 35. Come on. You want pools to manage a team next year? Oh, that'd be awesome. That, would be, that, that would be cool. That would be cool. Let DH team. Yeah. You know, let him replace La Russa. La Russa won't know if he gets replaced. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything because the White Sox are having a great season. So yeah, they are. They are, but they're they're slumping a little bit. Um, but they, uh, you know, I, I was watching that game today, and they said like, oh, will they turn it on in the playoffs? Like, you know, we, well, that's, that's the problem. You got to be tur- you have to have it on now. You know what I mean? The teams you got to yep. watch for is who hots around this time of the year because yep. you got that momentum going. You got a good shot yeah. to win it all. I won't. I won't talk about the team that's that's hot right now because you'll you'll get mad at me. I, I don't care. S- September twenty first, nineteen seventy seven, in front of a sellout crowd of fifty one thousand seven hundred and ninety eight fans at Memorial Stadium on Thanks Brooks Day. Uh, Brooks Robinson, of course. Red Sox rookie Ted Cox goes four for four, tying the big league mark shared by Casey Stengel, Willie McCovey, Mac Jones, and Forrest Jacobs for the most hits in a major league debut. The performance is also the start of a historic two-game hitting streak by the rookie DH, who will collect two more hits in his first two at-bats in tomorrow's contest and will become the only big leaguer to begin a career with six consecutive hits. And I and when I was thinking about this, um, I remember Yerman M- Mercedes this year like went on some yeah. crazy terror, but he did it with home runs. I think he hit yeah. like seven home runs in this first week or something like that. Something crazy. For anybody so, who's like wear baseball cards, it was like I think what one card of him that was made, and people on eBay were spending seven hundred dollars on it. Yes, and, and, and he burned out of baseball, and apparently he's like I don't know if he's completely out of baseball, but he's not in the White Sox anymore. It's just like. Yeah, you know, that's so, the pressure. That's what the baseball pressure can do to you, you know. So what happened to him was, remember when um he hit a um a 30 pitch um and I, I I think he hit like a 30 pitch or uh and it was like in a blowout and he hit it for a home run. And he was it was never the same after that. Like he got such blowback from his own manager on that on Larusa by that. And uh yeah. Yeah. And going back to this, it's interesting that where you said this guy debuted as a DH. That was that's very interesting as well, right? You know, but then again, I mean, I don't know what position he played, but you know, you got Rice and Yastrzemski and Lynn in the outfield, so good luck ever breaking through those three guys. You know what I mean? Right. Of course. Yeah. Of course. See, you know what I'm talking about. I know what yep. you're talking and I just, about. See, earlier we were talking about this baseball knowledge you can't get out of our heads. I don't know how much I remember from my long term memory being around 155 years. Until it just comes out, you know, until I just, just come out like, whoa, I still remember all this stuff. <laughs> no, I'm always I impressed. I always, wish, I always wish that I have a bowl of popcorn that I can just sit back and. <laughs> well, in future episodes, you, 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 yeah, gotta have that you ready. You should do that. You should, right. you should do that. September 21st, 1980, in only his 14th major league game, Gary Ward becomes the sixth twins player to hit for the cycle in the team's nine to eight loss against the brew crew at county stadium in uh and very interestingly enough in 2004 the left fielder's son daryl will also collect a single double triple and home run in the same game making the the pair the first father-son combination to accomplish the rare feat so we we talk about like the griffies uh the wards have, Who would yeah. have known, right? Yeah, Gary was a solid player. I I, I love that, that no one could get Rick Soapfield's autograph on this card. <laughs> like, Come on, Rick. Is so, why is he so elusive? <laughs> yeah, but I thought that was, that was pretty awesome. And I, I barely remember Daryl. Uh, I can find Darryl Cash Wolf. easier than I can find Rick Soapfield right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a I, little run in. I know, I, it's all right. 
I think, I uh, I think uh, uh, Rick Sofield went into modeling. I think that that was more of his career. <laughs> Maybe he became uh, Dick Schofield later. I, now that you say that, now okay, I recognize him. I got catfished by him on uh, on Bumble with that, <laughs> that picture right there. I mean, you you can't help swipe but right on that. It's picture. It's all coming back. It's all coming nah, back. No. Nah. <laughs> September 21st, 1984, the Tigers with a 3-0 to zero victory over Milwaukee. Milwaukee taking a beating. Uh, clinched the American League East title to become the only fourth team in Major League history to lead from start to finish of a season. The 1923 Giants, the 1927 Yankees, and the 1955 Dodgers are, are only the teams that uh, led from start to finish. Um and uh yeah so and and they they obviously they beat the padres that that year and one of the things i remember about this year i remember being 14 years old and i used to look at the sports page all the time so i remember at one point the tigers were 35 and 5. Oh, my, yeah this team was that insane was absolutely team incredible that year. hated them oh my god you hated this team if you were if you had you, if they're coming in you're like oh gosh we're you hated we're, this team oh this team was so good that's why it's it, you couldn't like them. Although, Jack, you know why you'll love yes, this sir. team? Can you – you want to – oh, never mind. I thought – is that really number 15 who I think that is, Michael Mondragon? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Did I enlighten uh, Cowboy Jack on that man's name? Yes. Jack, number 15, that is Rusty Kuntz. I, I pronounce Kuntz. Kuntz. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're gonna get us canceled kevin Why? i'm just reading the name come on <laughs> the name, well, i didn't know i actually didn't know that's how it was pronounced oh is that right yeah it's yeah, actually rusty know. rusty Kuntz is actually his the way it's pronounced well you know they changed it on purpose so like no it's not pronounced that way it's pronounced this way yeah so they gotta avoid the heat you know yeah well then <laughs> <laughs> he was actually the first base coach for the uh 2015 royals when they won the oh, championships wow. yeah so and then uh, i played for the uh the Chicago 2015 White Sox. royals 2015 yeah yeah huh <laughs> World World Series no, that's, that's, i did not know that about coons i, <laughs> I did it's not, a fact that i didn't know <laughs> i did not know that uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got a good joke to tell you guys after the show then. <laughs> September 21st, 1987, in a slugfest, uh, which Mets will lose 10-9 to uh, to Pittsburgh. Daryl Strawberry gets the team off to a good start when he slams a three-run home run off Brian Fisher in the top of the first inning at Three River Stadium. Now, Kevin, I'm gonna I'm gonna go go back to um, something. Why is this significant? And we've talked about it already oh, tonight. No. Oh no! I'm like, you got me to remember something from like I remember, <laughs> stuff, I, I remember stuff in 1987. You want me to remember something from 10 minutes ago? <laughs> what happened? What happened on on in uh, September 21st, 1975? Oh it was right gosh, before. It was right Dave before Kingman. we started talking about Rusty. What about Dave Kingman? Dave Kingman did something. I can't remember the what New it was York, right now. The New York right fielder's round tripper, his thirty seventh of the season, establishes oh, a new, new record for record. homers previously set by Dave Kingman on this date in nineteen seventy five. Before that, it was the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Right? That's one of the original Mets. <laughs> That's it. Not Frank Howard. That's, That's it. See, Frank, right? see, Jack. What what happens here is I do pop quizzes during the during the show. So, right. No, no. It's always these are always the the, the little unplanned when it just sparks in your brain and you throw it but out there. It, Those are always the best. It's really fun just how coincidentally some of the stuff circles back to each other, and then right. it's more fun because you know you already uh, you know two thirds of the way through a can you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> we're, we're on a, we're on a video show, huh? What? what? <laughs> And I got one more of these, brother. I got one more of these. I hate that Daryl Strawberry is so good. He he was actually really good, and actually had his uh, best years in New York uh, uh, for the Yankees and the Mets. And um, yeah, it's it's yeah. too bad because he could have been so much more too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Although he did he did he and actually had a great career with the Dodgers as well. Yeah. So yeah so very yeah very like those are I, have, of, I have such an irrational hatred for daryl strawberry <clears throat> major heat why? 
If Why? I ever saw him in the street, I would fight him. I'd take him down. Double wow. leg takedown. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be throwing working punches, brother. You know what I mean? And I mentioned it's an irrational hatred. Okay. Because he was in an episode of The Simpsons called Homer at Bat. That's right. Oh, Nicely four done. Four times a week. And he was <laughs> such a heel. He took Homer's spot. He was a suck up to Mr. Burns. Wow. And then Bart and Lisa are just taunting him. Daryl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That and was he like has the audacity to have a single tear roll down his cheek. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure he's a lovely man in real life. Contributes. Oh, there you go. Andrew, uh -oh. uh, regular viewer Andrew says he's going to be meeting Daryl in November. Andrew will right pay you. A hundred American dollars to slap him in the face on video. Oh god! One hundred American dollars. <laughs> that 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 comment is not endorsed by the beer baseball plot or not. the subsidiaries thereof. Yes. <laughs> hey, Michael Bondragon. So yes, you sir. Know one thing I, I I know about Daryl Strawberry and a guy like Eric Davis, they had some problems. So here's an old joke from that time period. Okay. What did Daryl Strawberry, uh, Eric Davis, and let's say Michael Jordan have in common? Don't know. They all play 82 games a season. Oh. Oh. So there you go. That's, the <laughs> that's, an old, that's an old sports joke there. That's the clean one. The dirty jokes, I, the dirty jokes I'm gonna tell you after the show. Yeah. You got a couple for later. Don't worry. That's because I called the Jackie the Joke Man hotline. That one didn't come from there though. <laughs> September 21st, 1992, at Three River Stadium, Barry Bonds connects for his 30th home run of the season. Off Phillies right-hander Terry Mulholland in a Pirates 5-2 victory. The home run gives the Pirates outfielder his second 30-30 season, equaling a feat accomplished only by his dad, Bobby Bonds, Willie Mays, his godfather, Howard Johnson, and Ron Gant. Uh, Cowboy <laughs> Jack Durango. You would not say this was. I want to yeah. see Jack Yeah. Howard Johnson of... of Yes. A hotel chain. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. Oh. Hojo. So, wow. Jack, I have a question. Would you have known that was Barry Bonds if we didn't tell you that? No, sir. Too small. Too small. Exactly. Brother needs to hit the weight room. Yeah, <laughs> It's exactly. an upper body well, business, he does. kid. I mean. He does. Don't worry. It's, it, he's about five years in his career. Give him a few more years, you know. He'll find the weights, brother. And Balco. Uh, Cowboy Jack, where did Barry Bonds play college baseball at? ASU, baby. Arizona State University. Arizona State University. Nicely done. Look at that. Nicely done. Great baseball school. September 21st, 1993. Mike Stanley with the Yankees trailing by two runs with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Hits a pop fly to left field for the apparent third out to end the game. However, third base umpire Tim Welke calls time before the pitch. When a fan jumped onto the Yankee Stadium field, given a second chance, the Bronx Bomber catcher singles, followed by a Wade Box hit, a walk to Deion James, a Don Mattingly single that drives in two runs to beat the Red Sox four to three. Wow. <laughs> I, got, I have a question, Michael. Yes, sir. Did this fan fall off the fall down that net and then land on the field? <laughs> we can only hope because that would be uh, that would be an awesome uh, side note to this. Yes. Can you imagine like being uh, you know? Uh, this so it's so crazy. I want. I, I I've never even heard. I've never even heard of this happening. Um, but let alone it, it happening. Then they they lose the game. I mean, what a. <laughs> I, this is like a protest game if there ever was one. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, and finally. Well, that, that, so this guy definitely drove an IROC Z, right? I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> he drove an IROC Z. And just, <laughs> I mean, he's in New York, but you know he lived in Jersey, and he was just lighting them tires up Saturday night. Yep, yep. Come on, you, come on. He's a catcher on the Yankees in 1993. You think he can afford to live in Manhattan? Come on. Right. 1993. Jeez. Yeah, I know I know that baseball players were really underpaid in 1993. <laughs> yeah, catchers probably. Yeah. 
Really? No, I mean, underpaid compared to what? There's what, guys a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that's still pretty good. But yeah, you know, that's solid. If he made over eighty thousand dollars a year, he's in high society. Okay. In nineteen ninety three. I want to say the minimum around then was maybe 80. Actually, you might be pretty close. The minimum was probably close to that. Yeah. Probably around $100,000 or so. And he must not have been a Yankees catcher for very long because when I saw Mike Stanley, I'm like, the the pitcher for the Red Sox like was a catcher for the Yankees? No, that, that's Bob Stanley. <laughs> that's Bob and Stanley. I, well, that, that, well that, that was it. I'm just like, like I've never even, I, I never heard of a, a Mike Stanley. I'm like, am I thinking of Bob Stanley? Right, exactly. That's what, exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, I never even heard of this guy. So he, he must not have played very long uh, for the Yankees. Uh, we're going to round it out uh, with this one. This is a fun one. Uh, not for what happened in this, but what I'm going to, I'm going to tag it with. So oh, September my. 21st, 2010, Troy Tulowitzki with two round trippers in the Rockies 12 to two route of Los Angeles ties a major league record with 14 homers in a 15 game span. Oh my gosh. Wow. The Colorado slugging shortstop who has four multi-homer games in the previous 10 contests joins Albert Bell in 1995. Barry Bonds in 2001 um, as the third player to accomplish this feat. But this is not uh, – when I think of Troy Tulowitzki – I know. Can I ask one question, though? Yeah, yeah, was yeah. That, no. like, was that entire thing at, at home in Colorado? How else would that guy hit that many home runs? That's that a really very bad? good question. I'm not sure. And, and you know what? Um, you know, I'd he to, was – I'd have to ask you I do the research later, you know? You probably need to, but I can't imagine that, that – that do you think they played – 15 it might games have been like at a 10 home game homestand you know what i mean oh uh, that's true too so jack one thing i don't know if you know this it in colorado there's way more offense in, in games in colorado because of the elevation the ball the air, there's less air pr pressure and so the ball flies further huh, and so, okay. so to to actually combat that what they do is they put the baseballs in a humidor much like yeah. you would put like cigars and stuff like that so uh, it actually kind of evens it out, but um, but, but yeah, it, but, I'm ready. All right. So one of the one of the great things. So this he was playing with the Colorado Rockies at this time. So right before he played with the Toronto Blue Jays, um, I think he was traded to the to the Blue Jays. Uh, but they, uh, I think, uh, like Nolan Arenado, like Trevor Story, they were really trying to keep Troy Tulowitzki playing uh, on the Rockies. So they go, okay, Troy, we're going to give you um, a, a shirt night. We're going to give away 15,000 shirts of yours. Um, so uh, July 26, 2014, Rockies misspelled name on jersey. The Colorado Rockies gave out 15,000 replica jerseys honoring the all-star shortstop Troy Tulowitzki on Saturday night. But the back of them went, read Tulo Whiskey minus the T. Now, this is the most amazing part about this. They still gave them out knowing that the, the actual, they were spelled wrong. Um, the, the thing that they, they did was that you could return them later. They, whatever, they're going to make good on them. But I yeah, always I'm think sure they did. I, I, I mean, his name is, is hard to spell. I get that. But this was when you're trying to uh, lower your player back. <laughs> this was kind of like a real big. Yeah, move. that's definitely not going to work. Yeah, definitely. So um, I always uh, never forget uh, July 26, 2014. <laughs> I'm sure this this this, this moment one. goes down. This moment goes down with like losing Arenado and stuff like that. So uh, unfortunate for that. Yeah, and, and he did. He actually was played with the Rockies to the end of 2015. I was hoping he left after that season because that would be <laughs> like, forget I, you guys, I think my name right on a giveaway, I'm out of here. Yeah, this might have been the last straw for sure. Unfortunately, uh, Tulowitzki was actually a great player and uh, right. due to injuries, he, he was yeah. cut, cut short. 
All right, so that is. So now, uh, what this... if that was? What, what if all that was planned ahead, and they created those as like a oopsie <laughs> to drive up the uh, the resale market? It's it's I, I've I've seen a lot of things that, that actually look very uh, uh, like that. As uh, so, you, you bring up a good point. They're actually like, you know what? If you don't want to be here, like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. I looked. He was thirty six years old. He still could have been playing. He just right, actually absolutely. finished up his career at the end of the twenty nineteen season. Yeah. yeah. So a really good player, good hitter. They could have moved in first base as well. So um, I just said, just injuries got him. All right. So that is this day in baseball history. Um, and uh, now we have a uh, uh, baseball card sharks. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, we might have to put Jack in here as a, a permanent member. I think we're going to uh, have to here. Yeah. So I think so. Uh, yeah. So uh, I am at the top. Uh, not bragging wait, about wait, it. Wait, just if, stating if it. Get- if I get added to the list, do I start at a WW or am I taking over the guests since? All well, three your of your Owen two is a guest, correct? Uh, correct, I think. I think. I I think you've only played. Oh yeah, you are Owen two as a guest. Yeah, I think 0-2. so. So I might put you down as Owen two. So I'll I'll, okay. I'll adjust this. Yeah, because our other guest was our our wrestling friends out of uh, Vancouver, Daniel Mock. Yeah, they Vegas. played as one. Oh, right. Stone Cold yeah. Steve Austin. Yes, I yes. remember that. Episode. <laughs> one you have to, yeah, they're not advertised, so you have to go back and watch the entire catalog of the beer baseball blog. Yeah, that's you right. Have to that's go right. watch that three and a half hour hoppy hour. Yes. If you watch hour. all of them, it magically appears. It knows. Yes. The algorithm knows. Yep. All right. So the, here are the baseball card shock rules. We're going to uh, draw. Um, uh, 11 cards. Uh, you have, uh, eight cards on the, on the, uh, on the field. You have three bench cards. We're going to walk you through this. It's going to be super easy. You make your way through the bottom all the way up. Um, we're going to pick some categories and, and, uh, actually, um, actually we're going to do something a little unique here. So let me, uh, let me do this. Let me take that off. I'm going to add this. this. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh so you have packed up already. Oh, he's got very, so beautiful. Up. There we go. And hey, anybody watching, you know what? Feel free to feel free to help us give your opinion yes. because we are watching the chat always. That's it. Okay, so we're, what we're going to use? We're not going to spin the wheel. We're just going to use uh, right. Stadium Club Baseball. Now, I'm drinking. Jack, Yelly's on the cover. Drink. Yes. Get your beers ready. We got Yelly on the cover. That's right. We got a brewer on the side. So we all drink when we get brewers cards. But uh, Cowboy Jack Durango, I'm going to give you the honors. Are we are we gonna do pitchers? Are we gonna do hitters? Hitters. Pitchers. Sorry. All right. Hitters. Hitters. All right. So <laughs> Kevin Lyon, run. are we gonna yes, do sir. home runs? Are we gonna do RBIs? Are we gonna do career average? Wow. Well, we've uh, we've never done RBIs. That sounds like it could be a bit of a challenge. So let's do RBIs. That's all right. Good. So Why career not? RBIs. That's a new right. category for us. So guess first. <laughs> yes, yeah. The the ASMR <laughs> mic was still on. Uh, uh, definitely. Uh, we we have top notch uh, technicians here who run our backstage. So uh, that's an indictment on our on our crew, which is me. Um, <laughs> all wow. right. So we're gonna do. So cowboy, uh, we're gonna open up these packs for you. We're gonna pull out all the uh, position players, and. Um, and uh, throw out all the pictures and all the inserts. These are some really cool cards. Uh, we're, oh, oh we're starting out off hot. This is actually uh, interesting. JT Real Muto. All right. Um, that's a nice beautiful. looking card. That's a real nice card. Oh, Jordan Alvarez. I think this oh. might be a variation because uh, he's not wearing his hat. In so this might be a variation. Jordan Alvarez. Okay. Uh, pitcher Garrett Crochet, uh, Crochet, Crochet. Just move him out, get him out Ooh, of here. Oh, Trey, Trey Turner. Uh oh. Oh, I see uh, a backward card coming. Board. to be in half. Oh. Tucker oh, Davidson. Is there a reason why that's backwards? That's or a good is that question. Just a thing? All right, hey, don't let us see stats here. That's true. Uh, this this Turn one's that card st- over. This one's stuck. That's why. Okay. All here right. we go. No, nah, no. Nah. Right. Ian Howe. Oh, the red. The red lettering is a variation, isn't it? I believe so. You're right. It's got the red uh, stadium club on the top and uh, the Ian Happ at the bottom. I believe that I watched. I learned that from watching Angel open it up on the Beer and Break show every Saturday right. morning at 9 a.m. Pacific. Mm-hmm. Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel, yep. Uh, Mitch Keller. Okay, so we're going to open up another pack. 
If you're going to have to, there's only eight cards here. So, but we're off to a good start there. Real good start. It's a solid board. Yeah, Ooh. I recognize and admire all of these players. Well, this Miguel, one's a hell of a player here. Miguel Cabrera. Possibly a future Hall of Famer. Just hit uh, five yeah. home runs. Adonis Medina. How Ooh, many home runs is, did he just hit? Uh, he hit his just, five in the home run uh, a couple weeks ago. Alberto Mondesi. If you want some fun, look up Alberto Mondesi's father, Raul, and see what he's up to post his baseball career. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately passed away, but this is Bob Gibson. That's oh, yeah. a cool variation card. I'll, I'll, I'll drink a t toast to Bob Gibson. Hell, amazing player. Oh. Jose Ramirez. So you have some good ones here, Jack. Coming in hot. Yeah, no, solid board. Solid so that's board. You, yeah. Right. I need a so, real weak oh, Alex Bregman, too. Oh, goodness. Alex oh, Bregman. Yeah. That's also a red variation right there. That might be a red per pack. I don't know for sure on that, though. Well, uh, oh, oh, you're probably right. It might be so you, that's on your bench. Uh, Joey Bart. Oh, that's oh, on I your like bench. that last one. But, but I, is that part of the regular set? I don't know. I don't think. I, can you can you kayfabe and look and see if the stats are on the back? Because that would definitely count, right? His stats are on the back. I guess that counts. So, wow. Yeah. So that's a Hall of Famer I, right there. I didn't think about legends here, but that's cool. That's a nice little so variation. Now Kirby, Kirby Puckett is a uh, – he's nowhere near – I mean, he's a legend. I mean, 60s, 70s. He played uh, in the 80s, 80s to early 90s. Uh, Hall of Famer, though. Unfortunately, he had an eye. He had something happen to his eye where he had to quit playing baseball. And actually, I don't remember the whole circumstances, but he passed away pretty young in, like, I think his late 40s or so. Yeah. All right. So, so the um, uh, we're going with career RBIs, correct? Yes, sir. Career RBIs. JT Real Muto. Uh, the career RBIs. Ooh, actually more than I expected. 358. Huh. 358. So is Jordan Alvarez higher or lower than 358? You can go to your bench. So I'm scared to go. To, I never go to the bench, but I'm scared to go to the bench this early. Um, let's, oh, Kevin's just. No, no. The He's, only thing I was going to mention was Michael. Um, last week we talked about as a tiebreaker, having it be like the person who used the least amount of bench cards. Oh, that's 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 a good that's a good one, right? Yeah, I like that. Check the chat. That might help you out. Just saying, Jack. Just saying. Oh. I'm not going to say it myself. So. <clears throat> Our MVP Bubble Pug says lower, so I'm gonna go lower. I'm going lower. All right. All right. Good call. It's pretty young in his career there, so you'll be all 358, right. 358, and this is 82. Yeah, he's wow, a young good, player. He's a young good. player, but but getting there, nicely done. So he moves up the moves up the line. So 82 is the one to beat. Next up is Trey Turner. Does he have more or less than 82 career RBIs? So I'm, he's got killer boy band hair. So I just, <laughs> I want to, I want to say higher because that's, I mean, that's in sync worthy. Um, yeah, and it, you're good. Let, let's go higher. Yeah. Let's right. go higher. You're, you're good. Don't worry about it. You got it. Not even close. 257. Oh, nice. I thought you had more than that. I All thought right. you had too. So now playing nice. for the Dodgers. Yeah. So we're going to go with uh, Ian Happ. Ooh. Does he have more or Not less than 257? This is a tough one. This, so, this is yeah. a tough one. So now if I go to my bench, I don't lose Ian Happ, correct? No, you, you do playing. not. You still have to beat Ian Happ, but you can take the 257. Your number will change from 257 to whatever the bench right. card is. I'm going to go what I feel like is a lock. I'm going to I'm going to go to my bench and pull out Kirby Puckett. Nicely All done. Right. So you'll definitely have a lot of RBIs here. <laughs> you have a thousand ish. One thousand eighty five. Nicely done, Kevin. Oh. All right. So higher or lower with Ian Happ? Ian Happ is lower. Yeah. Lower I'm curious than what he 1, is compared to uh, compared to the other one, though, though. One hundred and seventy. Wow. Oh, OK. So how far along know. is uh, Hap in his career? Um, probably about. 
Uh, he was a, a, a acquired in. Um, he was a 2015 uh, round oh, one. Oh, Packer. I thought he'd been yeah. around longer than that. Okay. Yeah, I thought so too. It, it seems like he has been around longer, but he hasn't. Ha! Huh, so he's a green boy. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. You're not so Alvarez 170 the boy of, your, of your board so far. <clears throat> so Nick Senzel. So you and you can you can ask us for hints if you want, like like hints love about the player, like like um. Right. Okay. So, so uh, Hap is started in 2015. Yep. And, Drafted in 2015. And Nick Sinzel is his name. Yep. Okay, Good so young Sinzel, player. I'm I'm guessing. Yes, sir. By the sleeve, he started after 2015. I think <laughs> he got drafted maybe 2017, 2018. Uh, he's, he's very new. Very new. Very new. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. Uh, Sinzel is lower. Than the played like and, that, and that's what uh, yeah, if sports cars and uh, bubble plug say as well. We're going to go lower. That's go. a good help here. Yep. 50. 50. So you good go. young player. 50. 50. So you got the seasoned veteran here, Miguel Cabrera. Seasoned veteran. Whoa, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that picture. Excuse me. Can't they get exactly. a better picture of the guy while he's grabbing? <laughs> he's doing Come he's on. doing a little he's doing his best Michael Jackson. <laughs> he's dancing. Yep. That's a dance move. <laughs> okay. At least that, that's my that's my argument in court most of the time. Bubble peg says higher. <sighs> My my number is one. Your oh, the number 50. you're trying to beat is fifty. Oh, Cabrera is higher than fifty. He's yeah, there you go. Just there by the, go. the confidence of that stance. One thousand seven hundred and twenty nine. There you goodness. go. That's like top like third like fifty all time. You know yeah. what I mean? Even oh, if boy. you discounted his five hundred home runs, he would have been more than yeah. Nick Senzel. Yep. So I'll. Uh, Alberto Mondesi is he higher or lower, lower. than one thousand seven hundred twenty nine? It's a hard choice. Higher, but, Jack. Uh, Jack, don't do it. Don't do it. Just kidding. <laughs> you, I can't remember. Yep. You scared me. One thirty seven. One thirty seven. One thirty seven. Wow. Right. I was surprised that was so that much. So it moves up to the top. Your last one. Uh -oh. This is going to be tough, actually. This guy. All right. Jose Ramirez, higher Jose, or lower than 137? Jose Ramirez. Who does he play for? He the plays Cleveland for the Indians. Indians. Or uh, soon to be the Guardians. He plays for the Guardians. Okay, now who do I have on my bench? You have Joey Bart, and you have Alex Bregman. Let's go Bart. Ooh. I, well, I think that's a good move, sir. I think that's a really good It's move. a great move because he has seven. Uh, <laughs> so, great seven. Call, Jack. so no, 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 please don't give me any props. All glory be to if sports cards. <laughs> oh, he, oh, sorry. I, I just saw that. I just hey, saw I'm, that. I'm one of the misfits in the chat. So I just, I got to go with my I, I didn't see it till right now. Yeah. That's good. Uh, That's so good Mr. Jose Ramirez is higher than Mr. Bart. I would agree with you. Yep, absolutely. And you're I right know. with 437. I so you run. Uh, hey, this is like like that game show where you ask the audience, like, what do you think? Higher, lower? Yep, and you, right. you know. And you so can play Cowboy Jack runs now. the gauntlet, leaves a Jack card. on the board. Yeah, leaves a card on the, on, the, uh, in, on his bench. So um, we're going to keep yeah. that there. We're going to keep it. I knew what you time. meant in sports cards, and I saw it the first time, but I was confident in my answer the first time. So thank you, it sports cards. So nicely yeah. done. Uh, Kevin, job, you're up. Good job. Nicely well done. done. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is my night. Can you put that <laughs> card off the side, though, so we know? Which one? Because that guy, as I don't want, I don't, well, am I supposed to get Alex Bregman on my bench? All right. Do we keep these here yeah, or do I, we not? I think last week we started I, keeping cards. Because okay. we went through Do we so keep high. Alex Bregman as long on the as bench? You know you have one left on the bench. I'll take okay. Alex Bregman. It's fine. I'm not complaining about that. Starting off with Luis uh, Robert. Robert. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's actually a card. These these cards stick. Hey Jack, together, which... what's gonna work? Team I'm work? asking Jack. Jack, I have a question for you. What's gonna work? <laughs> what's gonna work? 
That's Teamwork. right. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now, if you if you don't oh, beat um, me, Jack, you know, yeah. yeah. I win my ten thousand no, dollars back. I'm That's all this game. Yes, sir. <laughs> Glaber Torres. Oh, okay, fair enough. Carlos Carrasco. So, Jack, you know what um, a fellow wrestler uh, call, said that my name stood for, my wrestling name? What's that? Ta team workers are really outstanding. Huh. That's what Charles stands for. Yeah, wow. I didn't know that. Now, who said that? that? So I was told that. Uh, a wrestler named Shogun that I was competing with in the ring. Shogun? Yes. I don't know if you now, ever heard of that man. Good man. When, Good was man. he was he he was famous for his terrible jokes or apparently in that situation possibly. <laughs> but I think but there's people in the chat gonna know who Shogun is because that, he was part of the Revolution Pro Wrestling crew. I, I think I saw Matthew P. Sinister out there earlier. So And uh Mr. Ed at Mr. Excitement's out there, yep. The Pride of Athens, Georgia, Mr. Excitement, yes, sir. Uh -oh. And Steve, Mark and Steve Dolan, Ooh, all right. Oh, now what? Now what year is this? Oh, what's that? You Darvish? This uh, it's actually a die cut. Yeah, I was like, ooh, look at that. This is a die nice. cut. That's a cool. You uh, Darvish. Nice. Very cool. Unless uh, you're a Dodger fan. Eloy Jimenez and Justin Verlander. We actually have to go to another pack. Oh my gosh! Wow. Jeez. And I, 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 I've been half paying attention when I'm talking to Jack going, oh my gosh, Roberto Alomar's in there? What? Oh gosh. All right, so this and will continue. A solid board. This yeah. will continue to mine. Uh, I'll, so Anthony Rendon yep. is uh, rounded oh, right. up. Cool. Okay. All right. So I'll just keep that there. All right. Let's All right, so here. Luis yeah. Robert, uh, his total oh, is 31. So oh, he got God. hurt. He, he actually got hurt. He got hurt last year. Uh, first year. Jack, he's one of the hottest prospects in baseball, and you just call him a jobber. I love it. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's a complete G jobber, just curtain jerking. So Glaber Torres, <laughs> does he have more or less than thirty-one? I he definitely has more than thirty-one. All right, one eighty-three. Wow. 183. Okay. Super close. Right. Super close. Okay. Striking distance. Chris Davis. No, this is the one that's tough. This is going to be one. a tough one. Chris Davis. Yeah. Here for the uh, Texas Rangers, actually. I thought it was a Reds, but yeah, the Chris is, uh, Texas Rangers. I, know. Actually... I was like, that's what I was trying to figure out. I'm like, what? Yeah. I think he's back. All with right. The this eight. guy hits a lot of home runs. That's right. What was the number 183? Am I correct, sir? Yes. Hmm. You have Rendon, I Jimenez, think, I, and Bregman on the bench. Who's uh, who? I'm sorry. Oh, Rendon. Okay, gosh, I think all those guys might be pretty. Uh, Bregman might have the most of that bunch, but you know what? I'm gonna say he's in the 200s. Let's go a little higher. Okay. You are actually low with that 580. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right. Yeah, he has a lot. <laughs> he has a lot. Wow. See. See, look, I'm not going to get any help, but Jack took it all. No, nobody wants <laughs> Listen, Dustin, Hoff, like, Dustin, Hoffman it, didn't need, Dustin, Dustin Hoffman didn't need help at the card table. You don't need help at card charts, buddy, okay? <laughs> Until I was like way off on that total. Well, this is, this is a tricky one. This here, is a um, tricky one, yeah. Roberto Elamar, Hall of Famer. Gotta have around the I, I got to be higher. Higher, higher than five, uh, what do we say? 580? Yep. 580. 583, yeah. I'm sure you're around 1,000. Uh, 1,134. Wow. There you go. Right on. There you go. So you move oh, up. Why is Hall of Famer? That's a fun variant, our, getting our, our legends in here. Yes. Cody Bellinger. Oh, wow. That's a nice car, but obviously nowhere near 1,000 RBIs yet. Agreed. You'll have a couple hundred, probably. You'll have a couple so lower? Hundred. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, 318. Wow, already. Wow. Nice. Wow. That's, that's 318. Good. He's only been in the, the league a few years. Solid and prospect. Solid prospect. Jack, I want you to see where he's from. Uh, he is Chandler, Arizona. Chandler, Arizona. That's the uh, it's where my uh, my favorite relative in the world lives. Nice. 
she she is the city attorney for Chandler. Oh, ah, okay. There you go. Which is why I walk through life with impunity. Just know <laughs> there's a wall of protection around me. I'm not really worried about a lot, if you know what I mean. Nicely yep. done. All right, so 318 is what to beat Alex Bohm. Well, it says RC there for rookie cards, so you got to go, go lower on it. Got to go lower. Got to go lower. You'd be right with 23. Wow. 23. Nicely done. Now it's going to get tricky. The eyes it might be tough, but, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even have to ask? He's he's uh, he's like, what, 25 times higher than that? He's at at least 1,000. Nah. All right. I'll say so, 820. So higher, 1,414. So Okay, now it's getting um, tricky. Last does, this, does, does this rookie have more or less? Now, than one? Kevin, I, Big Kev, I really want you to think about this. There is 10,000 American dollars riding on this. Answer correctly, sir. What? Be right back. I think I need to go to the bench. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, remember, you have Rendon. Remember that. That's why I I'm mean, not going then because the Angels spent way more than $10,000 on the guy, and he's been there for two seasons and missed like half the time of, the, of, of those two seasons. This this guy right here. Michael Monday has walked out of the show, apparently. He's upset <laughs> about the result here. Because I'm sweeping so, the board about going to my bench. So I really think you might want to reconsider going to your bench. Why? To make it well, like make me now hold because... on. This, this it's strategy. It's it's money ball, okay? <laughs> I did if that. You, I did that for. <laughs> I did that for drama. No, I'm just kidding. Dramatic effect. If you leave dramatic effect. that on the bench, Disco is stuck with it. So pull I, Rendon out. Don't help. No, him. you know right. what? I tell you right now, Rendon's not even the guy with the most RBIs of those three. Ooh. He's not. There's someone Ooh. I think who has more. Actually, it might be a fun side bet, Michael. Uh, lower. Lower it is with. Um, much more than I expected, 232. Ah. So wait, 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 wait. 232 hits? On his rookie card. No, 232 career RBIs. Does that include his minor league career? No. <laughs> That's weird. On oh, you know card, what? Yes. You're absolutely right. It does have, it says minor league batting record. Ah. Oh, so he hasn't even played in the major leagues yet. He has not even played in the yeah. As, wow! As, as so he's body. zero. Yeah. So, but we'll we'll uh, what we should honor what what this is is it's career on, on the Whatever. card that that'll you know, work. Because like I wasn't even aware that they they did that. Wow. That would have okay. been that would have sucked though for if you know if that actually would have been something close. But two thirty two in the minors. How do you how do you not pull him up? Okay. I don't know. Crash Davis didn't get pulled up. <laughs> that's that's very is, true too. Is that the guy from uh, Bull Durham? Yes, sir. Nicely done. Huh. Wow. All right, I'm going to start off with uh, I, BC. Oh, I almost said his nickname amongst our, amongst <laughs> our friends. Jock Peterson. Taiwan Walker, not on there. Mike Moustakis. Oh, that's a tough matchup, by the way. Uh, Mickey Mantle, it's, it's an insert. Huh. There's no stats on the back? Is, was that no a rookie stats. card? He sounds like a new guy. Yeah. Oh, it does. It actually does have stats, but I, I expect it to be an insert. So uh, should, down, should I, keep, I should, I should keep it, it. Put yeah? it down there. Make it easier for you. Come on. We've got stats. And uh, Reese Hoskins with the, on the red. These, so, these all favors are going to help us. Yep. <laughs> Clear the board, you know. Ooh, Vlad Jr. That was a nice one. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dustin May, not on there. So wow, let's open up another that one. Hair. Yeah, so, that's... Michael, just to remind you, you have to run the gauntlet without hitting your bench to win. The timing. Oh, you're right. You're right. Our new tiebreaker. That's which true. I didn't, That's last tie I didn't just say it right now. I said Gilito, it last week. Chris Bubik, Ryan Mountcastle. Ooh. Right on. Ooh, Ooh, solid name. Player. Yes. Solid name. <laughs> His genealogy dates back to when the Anglos <laughs> met the Saxons. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro Kirk. Kirk. That's oh, oh, wait. oh, wait, what's that, Otto? Christian Walker of An the autograph, Astros. Though. Autograph, nice. Right on. There you go. <laughs> That's going to be on eBay later. 
Everybody, <laughs> check out our eBay page, Beer Baseball Blog on eBay. Does not exactly. have the stats on there, but look at this. Uh, Vince Coleman sliding into a Ryan Sandberg tag. Oh, that sucks. There's no stats on there. No, no stats on bad. here, though. That's uh, where the mantle does, though. Kristen oh, Pash. Pache. 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 Now, um, me. Let me uh, see. Uh, he has major league. Yeah, he has major league stats there, and then the last is Kyle Tucker, but it's not on there. Yeah, cool. so you're good. All right, good luck, sir. All right, so we're gonna we start with uh, BC Jock Peterson. Ah, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank former you for Angel for a minute. Ah, he starts big off. Champ. Big starts champ. off with three hundred in the minor leagues. You mean three hundred and three RBIs. This is this is like the hardest one when I was looking at you later. This is a tough Solid. one. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. And your bench, I don't think, is going to help out too much, honestly. I don't think so. Uh, you know what? Shoot. I can't go to my bench and... and... Oh, it's true. I can't yeah, go to my bench, gonna, though. You're going to lose That's it. True. I have to guess. Yeah, sorry. So I'm actually... I'm going to I'm gonna choose higher. I, I I think I think you're right, but it's gonna be close. Three oh three, Jock Peterson. I think you're good. I think you're good. He's been around a long time. Yeah, five eighty eight. Nice. Wow. All right, good job. Five eighty eight. I remember him playing for the Royals and Although you think he has more than Mickey Mantle? <laughs> Probably not. No. Mickey Mantle is um is definitely uh going to get uh, a lot of RBIs. Uh, I will definitely go higher. Oh and no. And he has 1,509. Nice. All right. Not bad. Uh, R- rookie numbers, man. Mantle's got to yes. pump those up. Speaking of uh, recent rookies, Reese Hoskins, definitely lower than that. But you'll, you'll have a fair amount. He does. 255. Yeah, fair amount. Huh. Okay. Kyle so Reese. this is, this is going to be a tough one right here. I don't know about uh, that. Uh, 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 Vlad? Yeah, like I mean, Vlad, Vlad's way higher, easily. Yeah. Vlad's in his third season, right? Yeah, he season. has he has a lot he has a lot of RBIs this year, but it doesn't yeah, add it doesn't add anything. To, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Vlad Vlad's going to be in that rarefied Michael, era. Of it's like the time of the card. Two hundred and forty-seven. Sorry, this year does not count. It's the time of the card. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to say I'm going to have to say lower. Yeah, it is. It's got to yeah. be. If you got this year, it'll be close. Yeah, 102. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm like, there's no way he can get to 300 for sure. Not Ryan yet. Mountcastle, um, definitely a, a, a rookie right here, and uh, uh, started after Vlad Jr. In fact, I thought I think we saw the first week of Vlad at, at Angel Stadium when mm-hmm. he first started. Yeah. So for I sure. will definitely say lower. And 23 is it? All he right. just started last year. Is he and he's up he, against who there? Alejandro, Alejandro Kirk. Kirk. Ooh. This is going to be actually a tough one because, and I remember him, he's actually one of those uh, streaky players. Again, a rookie. Oh. I, I never even heard of this dude. Yeah, Sorry. he's like, he's a backup catcher for the, uh, for the Blue Jays. Oh, boy. What do you say in the chat, guys? <laughs> Alejandro Kirk, I don't, I mean, 23 is such a weird number. I'm, I'm, I might have to just go lower. Ooh, if sports cards it, brings it's, up a, it, an, it has to be careful. Minor league stats might be in play. So this is oh. the first year he's done anything. Stats aren't on the card. Let me let me, let me I'm just gonna I'm gonna see if he has if it's the minor league. No, it's major league. Okay. Definitely right. definitely major league. Okay. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go lower. Yeah, Bubble Pug is with me with the lower. All right. So three. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. Michael, I have a very fun tiebreaker to propose to you after you after we win this. After you win this. Whoa, whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. We've all what? won. We're all winners. Okay. We're all, I know. Don't make it about winners and losers. Take my feelings into account, dude. <laughs> Jeez. So three is the one to beat. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, I was yeah. <laughs> I was sweating it. But I, I remember a Christian uh, Pache having a, a good season at the end of the season, um, so I'm actually going to go higher here. Well, Although I'm, I'm not, I'm not very, game. I'm not very confident about it. But um, you might have like I, ten. Yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to go higher to see if it's if it's good. Oh Jesus! Oh, you got to be kidding me! 
You've got to be freaking oh. kidding. He has zero. Wow. Oh my gosh. I even oh, remember him no. playing at the end of the season last year. Yeah, he, he played oh, in only no. two games. Oh, he played in two games. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that sucks. I, I, I feel bad for that. Oh, wow. Hey, Michael, can I at least propose what my tiebreaker would have been? Go for it. Pick who has the most RBIs on your bench. Oh, that, that's a great one. That's a, that was that would have been a great one. But I blew it. I blew it again. No, I, 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 well, let's do it anyway. Who's on if, the bench? If I'm not mistaken, you and I both ran the gauntlet. Yes, sir. You did. You did. You would up. So why, why don't you why don't you guys pick? You guys have to pick one. So uh, Jack, which one do you want? Do you want Bregman? Do you want Eloy? Or do you want Bregman, Rendon? Who's in the middle oh, there? Bregman, a hundred percent. Okay. So Jack uh, and then it's Eloy Bregman. Jimenez or I, Anthony I, Rendon. Ah, oh, geez. I was gonna say it's Bregman. That's what I was waiting for, and I'm like, so now I gotta lose by picking another player. I find I'll just pick Rendon, even though he doesn't have more than Bregman. <laughs> All right. Jack so said Bre Bregman first, so he got me. Yep. So Bregman has 342. Oh, okay. Not as much as I thought, but all right. 342. But I don't think Rendon has that much. I think he's probably 300 ish. 577, Kevin. Wow! Oh. Look at that. Upset of the I don't century. trust an angel. In yeah. How much does Jimenez have? A couple hundred? 120. Oh, okay. I thought he might have had more than that. But 120. He's to his own now. I didn't think that Bregman – I wow, I'm surprised Rendon had that much more than uh, – Yeah, I think he's just played Bregman. longer. But okay. Wow. Yeah, I, I think Bregman's been around for a while, but all right. Solid win, That one sir. got me. Nicely done. I'll, Solid I'll take win. it. That was just dumb luck. Hey, I only lost that one. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see that one know. coming either. Like, what? Wow. <laughs> Ten thousand really American came dollars. Last few three years, you know, and it really came big up in like, well, contract year, because that's the thing, Jack. Players come up big in their contract year, and the next thing you know, they make uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. That's it. And that's then they how... suck on their new team, like Rendon and the Angels. Wow. Well, well I mean, like five times. But it, I'm not to be, to be fair, as a former professional athlete. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> If I was playing for a minor league team like the Angels, I'd be holding back a little bit too. You know what I mean? I'm not going <laughs> to kill myself in the minors when I know that I'll step up to the to the majors. You know, uh, Taro. <laughs> uh, I uh, his camera's frozen, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not. Oh, there he is, handsome man. So before we move on to our last segment of uh, trivia, I wanted to make mention because no one else has uh, what I'm my hat that I'm wearing tonight. Oh, oh Leah, put yourself over. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You know, at the beginning of the show, I heard you say we have an important question. I was like, yeah, Michael Mondragon, what are you wearing? <laughs> what, what, what is that team, Kevin? Oh, no. I, I don't know, sir. It is. Wait, wait, wait. Is that I uh, wait it that it is? Oh, I wish Ooh. I would have said it because I'm like that looks like pizza behind wow. it. Yep. So wow. this is this God, is the Staten Island Pizza Rats. This is um in wow. twenty eighteen. I did not hop on this when I, I should have. Yeah. And it actually comes it came in this box piping hot pro baseball. Solid time and never showed us. Um, no, it, 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 I, I actually got it on eBay. Oh, okay. I was like, what did I you just got it on eBay. So oh, Staten Island pizza rats. And it actually comes, it came in the, it comes in this box, but then, um, it, it was one of the great logos of all time yeah. for the Staten Island Yankees. And it actually comes with, um, uh, crushed red pepper wow. and, uh, oh, and Parmesan cheese. And, um, yeah, so do I have to give the background of this? Go for Everyone it. Everyone knows the Pizza Rat video, right? Everyone yeah, knows about it, that? It was a yeah, viral video from like, or, uh, like 2017 or so or something like that. Something like that. Of a rat who was like dragging a piece of pizza down like a flight of stairs. 
So yeah. Staten Island, Yan- they were the Staten Island Yankees are a short season team. This played during the summer, and that's definitely a thing for my league teams is come up with some attractive name to sell merch and make some money because that's the best way they're going to make money, honestly. Besides the you know more than a live gate. So they did that, and unfortunately, I don't think the Staten Island teams around anymore, right? They're not, and actually, from what I found out, they only played I think five times as the Staten Island Pizza Rats. And before they were they they, they were eliminated and um, oh, wow. the uh, what happened also this uh, came out and the mayor of Staten Island or uh, the city yeah. um, actually didn't want this to happen like they they were trying to discourage it and uh, it could have been the best thing so yeah I, I actually found a hat in my size that's so fantastic yeah Thank you. and they I'm, have a whole I, bunch of other cool logos too I, I couldn't tell that was pizza at first right when you pulled the box out like, oh yeah. I know what that is. You can't that's tell right. because actually it, it, there's a there's a, a bite out of it that's on the, so on the good. left. It's but that's so good. tremendous you have that. Yeah. I can't believe it took me I, I have no I did not know you've had this hat for that long. <laughs> that's how many hats you have to sit on. I'm like, I got like ten hats. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. now you got this hat in 2018. Very no, good. no, no. I, I just got it this uh last week. So they're still <laughs> merchandising even no, the- oh, someone yes, just someone's someone had it on uh on eBay. Oh wow! And it was, in yeah. your size, wow! In, in the size, so I was, I was like, I gotta packaging. get this. That's fantastic. Yeah, oh, and they had the packaging wow. too, so in I had size. to, get, I had to get it. Yeah, of course. All right, so let's do baseball trivia. Let's round this out. Let's round it out. Let's see what you know about baseball. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let you Google because you uh, we're, we'll, we'll just go fast. <laughs> well, <laughs> No, I mean, let's start a timer. Thirty seconds, just let's yeah. Go. I don't. I don't think anybody's going to get this. Among the thirty-nine hitters elected to the Hall of Fame on the first Hitter. ballot, oh. who hit the fewest home runs? Oh, I'm going to give easy. you four. Oh, you're going to give us names, okay? Because I had a name. I have one go, name in my head. If it's on the list, go I'm for it. Laugh, go go for it. What What's the name Cap that you're going to? Anson. Cap Anson. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is actually not one. Ah. That's just a random name I thought of here. We're going to go oh, for Rod okay. Carew, Ty oh. Cobb, Ozzy Smith, or Hannes Wagner. Ah, okay. All right. So it's pronounced Honus Wagner. Hannes. Or, or Hannes. Honus. Or Honus. Honus. Yeah. Or Pocahontas. Big, big Honus. I'm going no, with Big no. Honus, number four. <laughs> no Good relation job. to Lindsay Wagner, uh, the bionic woman. Oh. <laughs> help, help me become a man. <laughs> hey, you know, yeah. Michael Mondragon, yes, I'm going to go with a friend of the Beer Baseball blog, Mr. Ozzy Smith, because he gave a video to us. <laughs> Bartolo Colon, Bartolo, what? He, he's, he's not a first That's ballot Hall of Famer yet. yet. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> not a first ballot Hall of Famer yet, but, um, not yet. He, he but in, in our, our books, he is. He definitely is in our hearts. Yep. Any, uh, I let's see. If, let, before we see it, does anybody have any other guesses here? Yeah. Man, any, any guesses out there? If it's Ty Cobb, I'm going to be really upset because that's my second favorite baseball player. Then why didn't you pick him? So Ty Cobb, because a lot of hits. Second, second favorite, number favorite two. Player? That's a bad <laughs> omen. That's numerous. Chad M going with the San Diego <laughs> Chicken. Also not a choice. <laughs> wow, we're getting some, we're getting some good, some good answers here. Yet. Yes. Yet. Keyword yet. Hundred percent. All right. He's a beer baseball blog Hall of Famer for sure. In our hearts for sure. Yep. So Still Dad, not retired, by the way. Player? I'm sorry. I have to ask. Who's your favorite player? Oh, Pete Rose, man. Okay. Very good. Pete Rose. <laughs> Fashion right. icon Pete Rose. <laughs> That's the only autograph that I would pay for is a Pete yeah. Rose autograph. By the way, if you go to Las Vegas, there is a casino that does sell Pete Rose, that Pete Rose signs that like multiple times a week. Really? Beverly, Michael Mondragon. Are you, are you getting it? Yes, he is. See, look at this. Wow. See, boom. There it is. Wow. Michael, a yes. great fan. Oh, uh, see, God bless it. I, I, I would not be running the beer baseball blog if I didn't have like stuff like that at right 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 Within to the next right next to me. Reach. See, and then yeah. all I have by me is the taro mask. That's the only thing I'm like, <laughs> Kevin. I'm like, oh, I have the taro mask right here. Wow. Or I, have, or I have a baseball bat. I can like get somebody. And, with. Oh, 
Look I have to. I, that. There he, look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Oh. The hit king. His majesty. Wow. But we're not yeah, talking about Pete. that. We're talking about the person who had the least home runs on about a 39 hitters on the first. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. First ballot hall of famers. Who is it? First ballot hall of famers. And the answer is friend of the show, Ozzy Smith. Wow. Holy With trick. only 28 home runs. I didn't. Wow. So, um, I was pretty confident on that one. When you said it. What's the list? Yeah. Up? Who, who do you... Look at that guy, Jack. <laughs> oh, that. So, no, wait. Ozzy, Ozzy Smith is Mr. October. <laughs> no, that would be other friend of the show, Reggie Jackson. Okay. Okay. Ozzy yes. Smith was the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, right? Got it. So Got it. in this, very original in this, nickname, very original. In this picture, you can't tell if the bat is swinging him or if he's swinging the bat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but Jack, this picture he was a good hitter, but not amazing. He's more known for his defensive skills. Got it. Got it. To say the least. To say the yeah. least. So Ozzy Smith had twenty-eight. Rod Carew ninety-two. Hannes Wagner one hundred and one. Ty Cobb only with 117. That surprised me as well. Yep. Out of 4,100 hits, you know. Geez. And even even Wade Boggs, who's right above that, 118, right above Ty Cobb. So, yeah. Wow. And he had at least 3,000. We talked about 3,000 hit, which was a home run on the show. That's right. And kiss the plate, which is, yes, that, is that something Cowboy Jack Durango would do every time he yep. hit a home run? Exactly. <laughs> Listen, every time Cowboy Jack hits a home run, he kisses the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Big Kev, I'm a plate kisser. <laughs> well, there's always dinner involved, right? Um, right exactly. <laughs> chicken dinner with Wade Boggs. That's right, Chicken Man. Okay, so question number two. All right. Who is the oldest pitcher to win a Cy Young Award? Your... Answers are potential okay. answers: Gaylord Perry, Warren Spahn, Roger Clemens, or Randy Johnson. Oof. Okay, so here's my thought process. It's not going to be like Gaylord Perry because you referenced him earlier. So I feel like that's a red herring. I think you're trying to trick me, Warren Spahn. I don't know. I've never heard of him. I know the big unit. I'm going to go Roger, Roger the Rocket, Roger Clemens. Wow. Nicely done. Oh. Nicely done. Roger the Rocket. I'm very impressed ah. with that. I'm, I'm kind of perturbed because I'm like, I think it's Roger Clemens and Jack is going to pick Randy Johnson. I have nothing to worry about. No. <laughs> no. Like, ah. When you have this brain right here, oh, you never know where I'm coming from. <laughs> Snuck up on you. Sorry, Jack, to say, but you're usually predictable. I'm sorry to say that. Hey, yeah. Whoa. You know, I've been around 155 years. I've seen a lot of people in my life, you know. Right. right. I've done a lot of research. Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, Jack, Warren Spawn is about the – is about the – what is he, fourth or fifth place in all-time wins in Major League Baseball history? Something like that. Who, who would he ever be? He's a job. <laughs> I barely get like, he had like Everybody. 70 wins or something like that. Everybody. He's crazy. Yeah. He but also, you know what? I'm, can I? I will agree with the Golden God as Roger Clemens is my first guess. Gotcha. And so uh, Ian saying Clemens, Bubble Pug going with Randy Johnson. Wow, big Chad moment. M. It definitely could Clemens. be him. Yep. It definitely could be him. Um, with, uh, that game Warren, that he hit the bird with the ball, he was like 83 years old. I mean, <laughs> brother had, I was 83. Brother no, had been Randy. around a lot of – I mean, his face looked like it, you lit it on fire and put it out with an ice pick. He was old. <laughs> but still, it's Roger the Rocket. The answer is – you You got it. You got it. Wow, Roger 42. Clemens. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Jack? You're the you're the Solid. golden god. Solid. Nicely I'm done. On a silver, I'm on a I'm riding a lightning bolt on a silver studded saddle across the universe, baby. Woo! Uh, 
Weirdly, actually, Gaylord Perry was actually 40 when he won um, his Cy Young. I was only 40! Uh, but in, 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 but in 1978. In 1978. Mike, come on, Michael. Only 40. Yeah, I know. It's so funny. Like, he, he was... Michael, he, Michael yeah. hold on. Do you think we'll have a player who wins a Cy Young in our generation who's even 35? God, no. No. Probably yes. not. Yes. All right. Well, wait Let's a second. See. Wait a second. How, how old Miss, is Adam Mr. Wainwright? Could do it. Oh, you know what? Adam he Wainwright might, could win it this year yet. very easily, actually. Yeah, you might be onto something there. Check, check, check out all the 40. There's no way. There's no, no way 40. No, it, I it's think, I just throw a little lease at 35. And, and, and to, to, I mean, obviously, Gary Perry, you know, uh, he it will just say he, uh, he was very creative about how he got through his career in, in the later years. Um, uh, excuse me. So was Roger Clemens. And and I was I was gonna tag that as well. He also was very creative, uh, on, in a in a different sense. Um, uh, he he did he did his physical therapy. Yes. Yes. Allegedly. Yes. Him and uh, Andy I'm Pettit steroids, did their. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good man. Good oh man. wait. Well, Jack Jack Durango just you know I a I legend. Just, Allegedly, <laughs> yeah. I'll throw a legend in there. Yeah. Exactly. No, hey, good man. If it's prescribed by a doctor and you need it, you get on in years. Hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of, boys. <laughs> Everybody needs a little help, you know. Brother's 42, <laughs> pitching. Come on, give him a little juice. Yeah. Oh Cor yeah. Corbin I Burns could get I, it very I'll easily. It's going to be very Burns interesting. Young, absolutely. Corbin yeah, Burnson. Cor I'm just kidding. That's for Jack. Corbin yeah. Burns should be the, the should be the Cy Young Award. For Roger Dolan. What? Uh, Dwight Gooden was the, Dwight Gooden was the youngest, uh, age 20, uh, yep. in 1985. And, uh, this is a fun one in 2012, RA Dickey became the first knuckleballer to win the award. Huh? So very, very, uh, very cool. So that is the show we had for you tonight. Uh, again, if you'd like to support us, go to our Patreon page, uh, uh search beer baseball. Uh, support us on our Etsy page, Search Beer Baseball. This is where you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch every week. Uh, Cowboy Jack, Kevin, great show as always. Uh, do you guys have anything that you'd like to promote? Uh, I want I want to tell everybody in the chat: click through on Amazon. Look for us on Amazon. Click through. That helps. That helps just yep. gas the engine a little yep. bit. You know, we got to get yep. cards. We got to get merch. So find us on Etsy, join on Patreon, just support the show. And we love seeing you in the chat. And my God, everybody, this is the best night of the week. Awesome. Thank you so much. Kevin. How am I supposed to follow that? Because, you know, Michael saw I bought, I'm going to Vegas in a couple of days and I bought like stuff I'm bringing to Vegas. You know, it's just a fan and like a, something to charge my phone when I'm in Vegas or like, you know, a portable battery. I'm like, I need this stuff while I'm in Vegas outdoors for the first time. My first trip going anywhere for real in like two years. Uh, help me. But I'm going to a Las Vegas Aviators game on Sunday. So if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, L-O-K-N-L-O-L-L, -L -L, you'll see some stuff from there. Otherwise, you'll see whatever I'm getting into in Vegas. Do some Halloween stuff probably and do punk rock bowling. But I want to make sure I mention if you need some humor in your life, save it. Call 516-922-WINE. That's Jackie the Joke Man's hotline. When we get off here, I'm going to be telling these guys some Jack the Joke Man hotline jokes because it's not very PG. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, th thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Cowboy Jack. And we really appreciate you every week um, for all your contributions here for the Bear Baseball broadcast. We will see you next Tuesday for yet another Bear Baseball broadcast. And uh, thank you, everybody who tunes in every week. We really love your participation and uh, supporting all of our good stuff. So we'll see you next time. Good night, everyone. M Michael, I love you, brother. Thank I you. I love you. I love you more. All right. Good night.